Hi, in today's video I'd like to cover off one of the new features in QTS 5 uh, that was released recently, um, and that is TeamViewer. Um, it's a new way to access your NAS uh, completely remotely if you need to, or even across the network. Um, it's generally going to be more applicable for the remote users, and it allows you to do that without opening up any ports on your firewall whatsoever. Um, so anybody familiar with TeamViewer, it lets you take control of a machine for remote support, things like that. Um, and it can also be used for you to have remote access to your NAS. Um, I do already have it installed, but for anybody that wants to install it, if you come to the uh, App Center on your QNAP, on the left-hand side you've got a few menus. Um, so if you go down to the Utilities section and scroll right down, you can see the TeamViewer application there, and if you haven't already got it installed, there'll be a uh, an install button right next to it. It's a single click install, very easy to uh, to set up. And when you first open it, you do just have to accept a license agreement. Uh, once that's done, though, you will be at this screen. So the first step is to um, assign the uh, the NAS to your account. So there's a, a little walk around way of doing that. So here with the the TeamViewer application. You can either skip the tutorial, uh, skip the tutorial, sorry, and go straight to the device information where it gives you the ID and password for assignment, um, or you can go through the wizard and create an account with TeamViewer. If you already have an account, you can click there and it'll take you straight to the wizard, and it gives you the step-by-step -step process of how you get connected um, uh, to the NAS and add it to your your account for your TeamViewer. Uh, so currently there are a couple of limitations, so it must be the uh, newer versions of TeamViewer and it only works with the Windows version of TeamViewer. Um, because I'm using a Mac here, I do have a, a virtual machine fired up over here with Windows 10 running, uh, just so that I can illustrate it because I cannot use it with the native version running on my Mac. Um, so I'm going to probably get a couple of errors here when I connect uh, just about ActiveX, basically things I haven't got running in the virtual environment, but you wouldn't see those errors when you were connecting. Um, so here with this setup, um, I've got my TeamViewer um, application installed, and all I've done is log into my account. Uh, the account that I have running here is a free account, so this is no subscriptions or anything with TeamViewer. Um, so this is this is possible with the free account. Um, so what you can do, and all this is listed in the uh, little wizard that pops up when you open the TeamViewer app, is you can come over here to the Computers and Contacts option on the left-hand side, and there's a little person with a plus symbol and a down arrow. If you click on that, you see that you've got uh, nearby contacts and devices. Now this is going to work because I'm in the network with my QNAP. Um, if you're not in the network with the QNAP, you can go to the Add Remote Computer option and add everything in manually. Um, but here with the nearby contacts and devices, it's going to find the QNAP that's running the TeamViewer application. If you don't have TeamViewer installed on the QNAP, you won't see it here yet. Um, so you get a bit of information about it. So this is the the, uh, the the QNAP that I'm going to add. So this is a TVS-H1288X. I do have it running on QTS rather than QUTS Hero though. So that's why I can install the, uh, the TeamViewer application. So I'm going to add that. So now it's been added and assigned to my account automatically. Um, so it's already here, it's in my contact list, and it's that simple. It's now connected, it's it's set up, so I can double click on it, and this is where we might start seeing a, just a couple of the errors because I'm running it in a virtual environment. Um, so now I have to authenticate with the NAS itself. So it has to be an admin account on the QNAP to, to gain access. Um, if you're just a, a regular user on the NAS, it won't work. Um, but this is how you gain access to your NAS. So it's not necessarily accessing it through a web page like you'd normally see. You know, there's no address bar at the top. Um, this is accessing it natively through um, the TeamViewer application. So TeamViewer is um, installed, running. I can control absolutely anything on the NAS here that I would want to access. So it's very easy to use, very secure to gain access to the NAS. And again, if you were accessing this remotely, there would be absolutely no need to open up any ports on the firewall uh, to gain access uh, to, to control the NAS and any of the functions within it. Um, so that's really covered off everything that I wanted to show. Uh, so that's TeamViewer. Um, again, it does work with the free account, but they do offer subscriptions. If you want some extra uh, features, some extra support from TeamViewer, you can purchase a subscription from them uh, for a few more extras that they offer. Um, but that's the uh, TeamViewer application on the QTS 5 operating system that we launched. Um, it should be coming as well to QUTS uh, Hero 5 um, fairly shortly as well. If anybody has any questions or comments, so uh, please do leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Bye. 